The convergence and interaction of several technological advances at the same time are what distinguishes the fourth industrial revolution from earlier iterations of the industrial revolution. In this video, we will outline the 10 most significant technological trends that are driving the fourth industrial revolution. So without wasting much of our time, welcome back to Tech Insights, you all. Let's get into the video, but before that, press the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. The first trend is ubiquitous computing. These days, computers are literally everywhere, in our pockets, on our wrists, in our vehicles, and even in our everyday appliances at home. It didn't take long for us to become acclimated to the idea that computers and other devices are growing smaller, lighter, less expensive, more powerful, and more widespread as processing power has improved and the size of computer microchips has dropped. As an illustration, the power of today's typical smartphone surpasses that of the most advanced supercomputers of 10 years ago. Quantum computers are anticipated to be the source of the next significant advancement in computing power in the not-too-distant future. Quantum computers are anticipated to be computers that are so quick and powerful that they could be used to complete new tasks that were previously impossible for traditional computers. The second trend is for everything to be connected and smart. There is no doubt that you have some experience with the Internet of Things thanks to the use of connected gadgets such as smart TVs, smartwatches, and smart thermostats. The term Internet of Things refers to the growing number of intelligent gadgets and items that are also connected to the Internet and are able to collect and send data. Everything that might possibly be connected in the future will be connected, not only in terms of gadgets and goods, although this is undoubtedly an important factor for companies to take into account, but also in terms of the environments in which we live and work. From smart, linked factories and offices to complete smart cities, the environments surrounding us will increasingly be equipped with the capability to monitor what's going on and respond appropriately. This capability might range anywhere from individual smart devices to entire smart cities. The third trend is the increasing digitization of our world. The IoT and ubiquitous computing both make significant contributions to the enormous amount of data that is being produced each and every day. But in addition to this data that was generated by machines, we humans are also generating massive amounts of data through the actions that we do every day, and this is not showing any indications of slowing down. The good news is that companies can use this data to design better products and services, increase decision-making, improve business processes, and even create new revenue sources. However, organizations that have a responsibility to be mindful of the dangers posed by data, particularly in regard to the privacy and safety of data. The fourth trend is artificial intelligence. All of this newly generated data is a key enabler for artificial intelligence, which has made remarkable strides in the past few years, particularly when it comes to what is known as conversational AI. All by themselves, smart speakers will have responded to 100 billion voice queries in 2020, which is a 75% increase over 2019 thanks to the advancements made in AI. The message for companies is that as our interactions with computers get more sophisticated, customers will demand all kinds of products and services to contain some kind of artificial intelligence capabilities. This is a challenge for companies because AI is still in its infancy. Extended reality, which is the fifth trend. The phrase extended reality, or XR, is an umbrella word that encompasses the entire spectrum of immersive technologies, including virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality. Formerly, XR was mostly recognized for its application in immersive gaming, but these days, it is being implemented across a wide range of businesses where it is being utilized to create more immersive, individualized experiences for both customers and employees. Customers, for instance, now have the ability to virtually try out things, such as virtually placing a new sofa in their living room to see how it looks, and employees also have the ability to learn in ways that are more engaging and interesting than ever before. Businesses need to start thinking about how they will adapt to this change and how they will create immersive experiences for both their employees and their customers. Trend number six is trust in the digital age. The concept of digital trust refers, in essence, to the faith that users place in enterprises to construct a safe digital world, one in which business dealings and social interactions can be conducted in a hassle-free, risk-free, and safe manner. Many people, including myself, are of the opinion that blockchain technology and distributed ledger technology will play a pivotal part in the process of improving the level of digital trust and securing interactions. Having said that, there is still more work to be done before the technology can be considered really accessible for all varieties of businesses. The solution may lay in forming partnerships with numerous new innovators and business people who are making significant progress in the field of blockchain technology for many different companies. The seventh trend is 3D printing. 
In today's world, the materials that are utilized for 3D printing can be virtually anything. Plastic, metal, powder, concrete, liquid, and even chocolate can all be employed. It is now possible to print entire homes using a 3D printer. This has the potential to completely revolutionize the manufacturing industry. Putting it succinctly, three-dimensional printing empowers manufacturers with the ability to produce items that cannot be easily manufactured using conventional methods, streamline the manufacturing process, create highly personalized products, even completely unique one-offs, and do so while reducing costs and minimizing waste. Gene editing and synthetic biology make up the eighth trend. When bad genes are found, which are genes that potentially put the health of an organism or its progeny in jeopardy, gene editing can be a very useful tool since it can remove those genes. Because of recent advances in gene editing technology, it is now theoretically possible to change these potentially damaging features. Gene editing has the potential to make significant advancements in the fight against disease in all living organisms, including humans, animals, and crops. Synthetic biology can include stitching together lengthy strands of DNA and putting them into an organism. Gene editing techniques can be used to make minor changes to DNA, but synthetic biology can involve far larger modifications. As a consequence of this, the organism may exhibit new behaviors or acquire completely novel capabilities. What does any of this have to do with running a business? Synthetic biology and the editing of genes may bring about significant shifts in the manner in which we manufacture goods, in my opinion. When one considers innovative new items such as cultured beef, it is not difficult to visualize the potential for these technologies to bring about radical change. Nanotechnology and material science is the focus of the ninth trend. Material science, which is the study and manipulation of materials, and nanotechnology, which is the science of controlling matter on a very small scale at the atomic and molecular level, have already given us a number of incredible advancements, such as tiny computer chips, smartphone displays, and lithium-ion batteries, as well as stain-resistant fabrics. This trend may, in the not-too-distant future, bring about significant advancements in electric car batteries, make solar energy more cost-effective, and bring about other advancements that will make the world a better place. Last but not least is innovative approaches to energy problems. Nuclear fusion is frequently hailed as the clean and potentially limitless energy source of the future. However, there is a catch. The amount of energy required to sustain a fusion reaction is greater than the amount of energy that the reaction produces. But currently, as a result of advancements in magnet technology, it's possible that a nuclear fusion reactor may be able to produce net power output by the year 2035. Green hydrogen is an additional zero-carbon energy alternative that is quite interesting, which is different from traditional gray hydrogen production. Through a method known as electrolysis, green hydrogen may be produced from water by separating it into hydrogen and water without the formation of any byproducts. Historically, because this process required a significant amount of electricity, producing green hydrogen was virtually impossible. But the use of renewable sources of electricity might change this. For instance, as more excess electricity from renewable sources becomes available on the grid, that additional energy might, in theory, be utilized to power the electrolysis of water. The most important thing to take away from all these trends is that we are moving towards an era of continuous and rapid innovation. During this period, several technological trends combine and feed into each other to produce enormous changes. This signals the end of the era for enterprises in which they may improve their technology on a step-by-step -step basis. The path that lies ahead is one marked by continual transformation. That is all for today's video. We will be right back with more interesting stuff like this. Until then, please do like the video and subscribe to our channel.